next project also caught our eye. Two young girls from Derry are trying to help farmers in Africa become more self-sufficient. Um, hi, I'm Megan and this is Zoe and we're from Oak Grove Integrated College in Derry. And what's the name of your project and tell me about it. Um, our project is about saving seeds. Um, so we were experimenting on melons, peppers, tomatoes and corn. So we were taking the seeds out of the fruits and vegetables and there were two different methods that we used to dry them and to soak them and this was to grow them in the end. Of and so this is for use in developing countries, people in Africa and the likes, you, you'd like them to be able to benefit from this? Yes, we'd, um, we'd like them to, because they would have to buy new seeds every year, so we thought that this would help a lot, so they would only have to buy seeds every four or five years. And what were the results? Can you tell me about the results? Well, for the peppers, the optimum drying temperature was 20 degrees. And for the melon and tomato, the optimum soakage day was four days. For the tomato, the temperature was 20, and for melons, it was 30. But for our sweet corn, it didn't really work as well because we then we looked it up and we found out that it takes to four to five months for it to dry it completely. So what plants then could farmers in developing countries use? Well, they could um, get the seeds out of all the plants and then store them in a cool, dry place after they've dried them. But our results are really good because their average temperature is 20 to 30 degrees. So um, they might not need a lot of equipment. You have been working with Farm Africa. Tell me more about that. Well, we were emailing them and they were just... Um, they work with farmers and they would supply them with equipment but they're not allowed to supply them with any seeds because there's political problems and they're not allowed to fly in seeds from other countries and um, the seeds have to be grown in Africa. Wonderful. You have plans to set up your own market? Yes, well we have plans that we were going to grow tomatoes and peppers um, and possibly sell them to our school canteen and um, they'd be all homegrown by us. Tell me about your interest in science. You both love science? Um, yes, well, um, we were just learning about charity school and um, the teacher was telling us about the BT Young Scientist competition and we thought it would be interesting to do because we do a lot of science in school. You're some of the youngest contestants here. What ages are you? Um, I'm 12. I'm 13. Wonderful. Best of luck. Thanks a million.